The Chalet is a Netflix original series. It's a French series that is loosely based on Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. Is it bingeable? Possibly. <laughs> Through a series of flashbacks, we are told the story of a vacationing French family who heads up into this small village in the mountains and they stay at a chalet and then they disappear and that year is 2007. We also have the concurrent modern day story going on that's happening 20 years in the future, or at least present day, hey, because it's 2017. A whole bunch of friends have gathered at that same chalet that the family went missing They've gathered there now for a wedding. Most of the people attending this wedding ceremony or that are at the chalet have some sort of connection to the village, to the chalet, to the disappearance from 2007. Are you tracking with me so far? The beginning is a little bit confusing of the chalet and it takes a little bit of time to actually see who is who and how they fit. And the series doesn't really show us well between timelines. Because, I mean, 20 years, it's not like we're going from the 1970s to the 1990s where clothing was vastly different. We're going from 2007 to 2017 where really there's not a whole lot of difference in the clothing or anything else to really show us. So we play catch up a lot of time going back and forth like, who is that? Okay, no, they're them. Oh yeah, okay, they're older, they're grayer or whatever. Especially when you take into account though that some of the characters in 2007 are kids and now they're in their late 20s or maybe even early 30s. So it really does, it does play with your mind a little bit, it takes a little bit of getting used to and catching up. And once you've caught up and once you can identify who is who, then it begins to make a lot more sense. Now the chalet does have a little bit of mystery to it, but a lot of it is also fairly predictable. So you kind of have this back and forth of like, eh, yes, I'm enjoying the mystery. It's kind of predictable and oh, it's not really new or original either. So mm. I did enjoy a lot of the characters or at least their portrayals. Not all of them I enjoyed because you're not supposed to, but you know, that's how it is. So the actors did well in their acting and in their just their performances. The Chalet isn't a lot of episodes, so it's totally bingeable in an afternoon or even over a weekend. It's not a series that is a must watch. For that, I would recommend Dark or The Rain. Go check those out on Netflix. There is some sex and nudity. There's a fair amount of violence and profanity in this. So it's not made for little kids. Also, don't watch it in dub. Watch it in subtitles because then you actually hear the French language. It's better. And sometimes the dub gets a little bit off. It gets a little off in its timing. And that's just, I don't know how you could watch that. And uh, that would distract me. I do have friends though that only prefer dub. Good for you um, that you watch how you want to watch. That's totally fine. Me, I'm sticking with the subtitles. I give The Chalet three out of five couches. What's your favorite Netflix original series? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.